I don't care if you call this a gyro or a gyro. This thing is amazing. For easy cleanup, we're gonna spread down some Reynolds butcher paper. This will make cleanup easier and make a whole lot less mess. All right, we're going down with this leg of lamb roast. We pat it off dry. Now we're seasoning it with our beef rub. We're gonna do a nice layer of the beef rub all the way around. Make sure you season all sides. After we're done with that, we're gonna do another layer with our pork and rub. Same thing, we're gonna season all sides. <clears throat> You want to make sure it's nice and coated and uh, ready before we put it on the smoker. All right, we got the pellet smoker ready here. Our blazing grill works. We got the temperature running at 250 degrees. We're going to put it down for approximately four to five hours. But like I said, cleanup is super easy. Wrap it up. Let's go. All right, we'll get back here and check on it after about four or five hours. We got a good color on here. You can see the bark. It's looking really good right about now. We're going to go ahead and check the temperatures just in case, just to see. We're sitting around 167, 169. Boom. Let's check another spot just to make sure. As you can see, 170. Looking good. All right, let's pull this bad boy off and get ready to wrap it. I like to do two sheets of the butcher paper overlapping them. And then I'm going to spray down some beef broth. This is going to do two things. It's going to help add some extra moisture at the same time frame when you're folding it up. It's going to make it easier to fold up and for the butcher paper to, to form to the outside of it. <clears throat> so as you can see here. You want to make sure it's nice and tight, as good as you can get it. Fold it up, lay it down. Now we're going to put it back on the smoker. I've got it cranked up to 275 now. It's going to cook for another two hours or so, two and a half hours. And as you can see here, we're pulling it off about 205 degrees. That's what the temperature I'm looking for. I'm really feeling for a probe temp temperature tenderness. And then we're going to pull it off, put it in our cooler, let it rest for an hour. While we let it rest, we're going to start making some tzatziki sauce. I am uh, just uh, dicing up some cucumber here. We're going to get all the water mixture out of this. So you let it sit for about 10 minutes and some little bit of salt. It's going to drain all the juices. That way your tzatziki sauce is not all watery. Get the water drained out of this cucumber. Dump it out. <clears throat> go back to a clean bowl. Here we go. That cucumber comes out to about a third cup. We're going to put in about a cup of Greek yogurt in here. And then after that, we're going to do about a half a lemon juice here on top. I hold it like this so the seeds don't drop in there. Uh, nobody wants a seed when they have their tzatziki sauce. This is some fresh mint. You can use mint and dill uh, or just mint like I just did. And then we're going to season it with our beef rub. Probably about a tablespoon of beef rub here. Mix it all up. Now it's time to get back and check on this lamb roast here. All right, unfold it, wrap it. You can see she's going to be nice, tender, and juicy. We're going to cut off this netting around it. All right, and now let's shred her apart. Look how tender and juicy this lamb is, wrapped in that Reynolds butcher paper. So good. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to dig into this. All right, for serving, here we're going to do another thing of butcher paper. Let's build that pita. Put the lamb down, some lettuce, some tomatoes, and then that wonderful tzatziki sauce. Oh yeah!